It's 813. E-bike batteries are a leading cause of deadly fires in New York City. And now we are one step closer to getting new federal safety standards thanks to the persistence from the NYPD, or sorry, FDNY rather, yeah, sorry, my bad. 2023, it's okay. Lithium ion battery sparked more than 260 fires, causing 18 deaths and 150 injuries. The FDNY has been fighting for stricter oversight from lawmakers in Washington, D.C. for quite some time now. Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh leading that fight, joining us now to discuss what we can expect to see with these new safety measures. But there's still another hurdle, right? So mm -hmm. this passed yep. in the House, Commissioner, great to have you here. Yeah. Uh, but still needs to go through with the Senate. So that's the next hurdle. Are you confident it'll pass in the Senate? We are. Uh, so Senator Schumer is the majority leader and a co-sponsor. Um, really, we were told that it's nearly impossible to get a bill to the House floor. So that's why we've been going to D.C. so often. That's why we're so excited. Obviously, still need to get through that hurdle, but I think the, the ground is more clear right. after passing. Can House. you lay out exactly what this means? Yeah, so at, at its most basic level, there's just no safety standard at all for batteries, right? So you guys have seen, these are essentially explosive devices. Anyone can make them. They can send them into your home or business. They can essentially be a ticking time bomb, mm -hmm. and there's no regulation on this. So there'd just be a basic safety standard. It would mean they were well made. They would be much less likely to fail, and consumers could have some confidence they have a good battery. Would that certified and uncertified? Yeah. It would basically uh, rely on the UL standard. So we've talked a lot about UL. Okay. It would set the standard where UL sets it so that every device has that certification. You okay. wouldn't see these other devices anymore once this went into effect. Okay. So, but if you did, right? Because there are mm -hmm. UL devices like extension cords for example right yep. but there are still those like weird ones that are sold on a different market or you can buy them that are yes. cheaper right so with legislation like this what would a sale of something like that mean so it would not be legal um, our greatest hope and why we think federal legislation is really where it's at is they can seize these at the ports so the idea would be they I never see. get here so the reason you can get those online fairly easily we right. can still get the batteries online is because they still get here and once they're here there's thousands of them you know this is actually illegal in the city of new york right yeah. but we mm -hmm. see the online retailers people bringing them in from other places and reselling them this would stop them they could seize them in the thousands rather than where we we're seizing them one at a time right. or a dozen at a time right. yeah the scary part is there will probably be a black market for them so what is the penalty yeah. then that will come with this so what we hope uh, really is that they are able to seize them and we can bring in federal uh, law enforcement to help with that so that's a much more powerful tool um, it gives us additional partners, but also I think our biggest hope is they just never make it into the market. Yeah. Um, we've actually heard some of the retailers overseas who make these. If they know this is coming, they'll just stop making it. It's not worth it anymore. So we're also hoping that stems, you know, really the market for them, that people That's stop making them. Yeah. yeah. Well, because you look at the numbers, 18 deaths just last year. Yeah. Any this year? We've had one this year, so similar amount of fires. We have had fewer deaths, thank right. God. Um, you know, hopefully that's because of our outreach, but those fires are so dangerous, they are always potentially deadly. So we really need to stop the fires from happening. Yeah. And you still have your task force that's yeah. out there, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, that will go on for a while, you know, because keep in mind, even once this goes into law, these batteries are here, there's thousands of them. Yeah. So we're gonna be keeping up for a while trying to get those bad batteries out of the system. But this at least gives us the confidence that they can't keep yeah. selling them. How effective has that been, your task force? So it's been very effective in the sense that we have found and you know shut down or penalized a lot of these. You know, we are seeing fewer deaths and we're hoping that's, you know, because of that. Mm. But what I would say is we are seeing people, rather than have these in bike shops, have them in their homes. Mm. Because we can't enforce in homes, right. we can enforce in bike shops. So I'd still want to caution the public that just because you can't buy them at a store doesn't mean you should be making them at right. home. That's actually even more dangerous, right? It's in your bedroom. It's frightening. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you have the authority to go into a store and take it out. Right? Yeah, exactly. And with the legislation, you can obviously do more. I'm just curious to know your thoughts on what you did in D.C. that was so effective. Because it seems when, at, at, at face value, a lot is not happening in D.C., but you were yeah. able to make something happen. So what yeah. did you? What was the secret sauce of the, to the conversations? You know, I think it's two things, persistence and bipartisanship. Yeah. So, you know, we were even told by the sponsors of the bill that it was very unlikely that this might make it to the floor, and we took that as a challenge. So we just kept going back, you know, feeling that they just can't say no to something that is so obvious, right? Why would you want, you know, you wouldn't have propane stored in your bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you want one of these? But were you seeing it that it was more of a, to get the bipartisan support you needed, Mm -hmm. A lot of folks will sometimes look and say, well, New York gets everything, so let's not give them something mm -hmm. else. This is more of a national problem. Yeah, making sure that people understood that this was a problem in their district was really essential. Yeah. So, you know, our chief fire marshal 
went around and called his counterparts in other states, made sure that Congress members knew how many of these fires were happening in their states, how many deaths were happening mm -hmm. in their states, really enforcing that this wasn't a New York City issue. Obviously, right. mm -hmm. it's New York City members that carried the bill yeah, for yeah. us, but to get it to the floor, absolutely. We talked to people from Tennessee, Florida, Nebraska, all over the country, and I think you had to do that. You know, right. you had to make all of Congress feel like this was a danger yeah, for yeah. them. Uh, before we let you go, I wanted to ask you about the e-bike charging stations that are yeah. going up. Some, some neighborhoods don't want them. Can you talk about where they are right now and how you're going to make sure that those are safe as well? Yeah, um, so we are heavily invested in that. I think you've heard me say getting these outside mm -hmm. is such a great safety measure. In fact, even an uncertified battery outside is much safer because it's mm -hmm. not in your home. Um, so we're really supportive. You know, I would say to those community boards, like, please rethink uh, not having these. If you have delivery workers and you're getting deliveries, these bikes are going to be in What's your neighborhood. The you know, I'm not sure. I, I assume that, you know, street space in New York yeah. is always uh, such yeah. a battle. Okay. Uh, exactly. They don't want to lose the parking right. space. Exactly. And I understand that. But, you know, I just say, like, this is life and death. And if you're getting the deliveries, you know, you're part of creating this market. And that's okay. But you've got to help us get the infrastructure. You know, to say no to basic safety infrastructure yeah. that could save a life very tough so I'd love they can call me love to talk to them <laughs> real quickly though where are they planned to be and are there already some out there so there are some out there um, they're scattered through Manhattan okay um, and they're hoping to expand them you know one of the things we're looking at is where do the delivery workers use them is it where they live or is it where they're making deliveries is it both um, and are they using them right. and okay. we'll use that data to expand from there okay great FDNY yeah. Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh great yeah. job yeah. thank you thank you